Welcome back to Dr. Walls and Friends here on the Sisters in Harmony Network. And I am here at the Chinese Kung Fu and Karate Expo. And over to my right, I have Grandmaster Chow. Chow, yeah. And your system is? Wing Chun. Right. And then I have Sifu Clip. Yeah. Yeah. And your system? Um, it's also Wing Chun. He's my teacher. And this, that's right. Yeah. Master Mike. Master Mike. Masters. And yes. And your system? It's a hybrid system called Hon Hop Do, integrating Sanukis, uh, small circle Jiu Jitsu, Universal Kempo, Chinese, Japanese, Korean, everything that makes sense to finish completely. Period. Alright, we're going to go over here to the red. My name is uh, Sifu George Booker, and I represent uh, Atmos, I mean, Boss Step Martial System, and we teach uh, Wing Chun Kung Fu and uh, Lato Seskrim. <laughs> Hi, Xi'an Alan Woodman, uh, Shotokan, and uh, Jiu Jitsu. Hi, Si from Tony Santiago. I call it JS Wing Chun. That's my given name, Jesus Santiago. All right. So now we have all these very different systems, and this is your teacher. Now, I could ask you all what led you to martial arts, because each of you have been in martial arts for many, many years, correct? Over 38 years. Yeah. Okay. What is it about martial arts that keeps you invested in it? That can go to anybody who wants to answer first. What? Why? Yeah. You ever heard that expression, got milk? <laughs> That's why. <laughs> That's a good answer. <laughs> No, they just come over and they say, hey, I want to learn some of that. Okay. 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 <laughs> I want and some so, of that. <laughs> or, you, or you could say courtesy, integrity, self-control, right. indomitable spirit, which means to believe in yourself. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. So those are our tenets that I teach in my school. Okay. I think martial arts teaches everyone every needed and necessary life skill. It's all encompassing in martial arts. In martial arts, no matter what martial art you take. But it, the brotherhood is the most important thing, and uh, a lot of it has been liked lately. And I wish that everybody would just put away the ego and say, "Hey, let's all get together as a big family, Amen. and share." You know, because it's all about brotherhood and sisterhood. So we got them all. And I'm so glad you said that. And that's a theme that I've been hearing a lot today. And I'm going to have you speak about it even more specifically. Is this idea of people coming together? Yeah. A few years ago, um, MMA Sports Expo approached me and they said to me they wanted me to run Kung Fu competitions. And I said, I'm not sure if I want to do that. I want to do something that's going to be more lasting, you know? And I thought of the idea right here, it's about friendship. So the problem that we had first is us Wing Chun people, our own martial art, have nothing but hate among each other. Uh, again, it, it is ego, but we're human beings and Americans, we have a lot of different baseball teams or football teams, you know, we all work together, we can accomplish more. So over the years we kept growing and growing and growing, and our event uh, attracted a lot of people, and I'm going to tell you that I've called people on the phone and they've told me all to F off. They've told me that's never going to work. Wow. You can't get Wing Chun people standing next to the karate people. Karate people are better. Yeah, that's never going to happen. Kung Fu people are better than Wing Chun. That's never yeah. going to happen. We're but never going to solve and it's resolve It's lovely anything. to see all of you today. Yeah. 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 This is how we do on Dr. Walls. And friends. We yeah. all be friends. friends. Tell me. Yeah. Don't forget Tell sisterhoods me. now, that's too. Right. We got sisters out there, that's too. Right. 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 We need more sisters. Your last question. Last question. Why did you get into martial arts and why? Well, me. I grew up getting beat up by gangs of kids in the Bronx, and uh, I'm, uh, my, my grandma raised me, I was the only child, and uh, I didn't want to fight. And in time, I, I got into martial arts more deeper and deeper and deeper, until I, I, I fell in love with it. And uh, I fall in love with the fact that I'm no longer scared, and I'm never angry, and I control myself, but at the same time, I have a chance to enjoy myself, too. While people attack me, I just block it, slap, slap, you know? It's beautiful stuff. Um, 
But you know, here, this is my, uh, everybody here, listen, we got more than this. I mean, if you look over, we've, we've got other people that are not here. Um, We're the only ones that can. A lot of people are, <laughs> well, listen, or, uh, the friendship. And all Aaron, <laughs> Aaron Banks, Aaron Banks, uh, a long, long away. time ago, yeah, yeah, he passed was, away about three weeks was, ago. He was all about brotherhood. What? He made something back around 1975. Mm -hmm. My teacher was there. And part of it, and I, I think I'm gonna pass it over to him. What was Aaron Banks' show like, Sibel? So Aaron Banks, well, in, uh, he, I think he was part in in the Madison 1975 in Madison Square Garden. Mm -hmm. That was a huge uh, kung fu exhibition. Yeah. You were there, right? Yeah, I've been there. Yeah. Yeah. So. Uh, it was, what was your question? <laughs> well, my question is... What kind is, of person he was? No, no, what no. kind of person? A person... No, no, I no, no, to no, be no. honest. No. I do. My, personally, I don't know him well enough to say much about him. But, uh, but in, in, in those days, everybody, maybe because of a lack of internet, it's, it's hard to get touch with each other. You know, we rarely get into each other and... and, and uh, uh, everybody is doing, mind their own business. Doing their own business. You know what, Grandma Sir I'm glad you brought that up because one thing that I've found over the past year, I've talked to a lot of different martial artists around the country, and what I've heard was that originally the different styles of martial arts started because it was a way to protect certain environments, their communities. Mm -hmm. Now we are in a world with a different type of community. And so it seems as though as each of you, I've spoken with each of, many of you off camera, about different systems coming together and not being that this system is better than this system. And I'm wondering now, does there need to be a greater hybrid because we live in a community that's much different than maybe with some say, of them? I, I, I think it's not a matter of I, I don't think it should ever be a, a case or a standard to say, okay, we need to conglomerate more. Okay. We can remain separate and and, and devoted to our own systems, okay. but still work together. You know, a, as a community, as you know, as a brotherhood, I've been, as a family. Pre I, I've been okay. prejudiced against this. I got it. I got it. Eight, eight, and I was no longer a Puerto Rican. I became white. I became black, and I became Chicano. And right, you're not white. <laughs> a little bit Asian too. Oh, and I got a little bit of Filipino in me, but they didn't know. Okay. Can I can I make, can I add to that? Wait, wait, go ahead. Oh yeah, go ahead. But I got hurt. I got hurt a lot. I got beat up a lot. And one day I was watching in 1966 the Green Hornet, and I fell in love with this guy named Bruce Lee. And I said, you know what? He is what I want to be. You know? And I just started from right there. I said I will never let anybody hurt me or my family ever again. And the prejudice on had to stop. Okay. Well, because I was prejudiced against. When, when, he, when he uses Bruce Lee, a good example. Of why that is? We're all related through our martial art. We're, most of us are Wing Chun. Okay. Wing Chun is Bruce Lee's martial art. My teacher knew Bruce Lee's teacher, Yaban. He was part of the, the school. Let me pass over. Let me switch over. No, 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 no we okay. I'm out of the bed. Let me come in there. I feel better now. Now. <laughs> I wanted to make it yeah, that, off, my yeah, ahead, my that I think what's happening, you talked about the brotherhood and true we conglomerate. Uh -huh. I, the problem is that no one or not as many people are taking personal responsibility for their actions around the world. You have, you work hard for it, they take. They take your body, they take your money, they take your possessions. We have a, um, a responsibility as martial artists, look up the definition of martial and martial law to be protectors, okay. and we should be protectors okay. in, in brotherhood and protecting people that can't protect themselves, but spread the knowledge to do so. Yes. Okay. Um, okay. But, if we look at the opposite, when everybody hates each other, mm -hmm. oh, we no. can't promote each other, right, right. and the general public sees it like that. Yep. Right. Yeah. And point. therefore, martial arts in America mm -hmm. is dead. Okay. It's like soccer. Well, Soccer is the most popular martial art, mar uh, sport. sport. Right. What? Kung Fu, 
traditional karate around the world. It's even taught in the public schools, private schools. The Sifu rank in, in China is like, like the like the mayor. But we did it to ourselves, but therefore we can fix it ourselves. Oh, yeah. right, so let's pause right there. We'll take a break and we'll come back shortly on Dr. Walls and Friends.